Mark Pope, happy birthday, number one. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Happy I'm birthday. so hyped to be here. Yeah. This, could you imagine a better birthday than this right here? Oh. What, uh, describe the vibe. Now, you, you, you walk around with the vibe, so describe the vibe you're feeling here. Today. Well, it's, it, listen, this is incredible. Uh, you know, this Cougar Canyon, what David Almodova done is, is incredible, and we had a bunch of players down there. So just walking through the crowd right now, you feel this, there's always energy in this football stadium, but right now this energy is so palpable, it's about to explode, this whole place might burn down, it's awesome. <laughs> when, you, when you see the students over here, you know that they're gonna be over at the Marriott Center cheering you guys on in not very much longer from now, uh, just having them back. Yeah, yeah, I mean, listen, so it's been fun here the last couple of minutes as each position group has walked onto the field. The student section is going crazy, and we just miss it so much. It's like health for our souls, isn't it? <laughs> so it just is, uh, uh, we got the best student section in the world, and they're bringing it tonight, and they will all year long. Before we just came on here, we were talking about when, when the Zags came into the building, at, and they were number one in the country, and the Marriott Center was just off the rocker in that one. This is a unique place, both in the Marion Center and here in Lavelle Edwards Stadium. You've been in a lot of basketball arenas in your time. How, do, how does this place rate? Well, well, you mean the Marriott? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's an incredible place. You know, I don't know. I honestly don't know where else you go in the country to throw 7,500, 8,000, 8,500 uh, student sections, uh, students in the stands together like they do here. I, I haven't seen it anywhere. It's, it is electric. You heard it two years ago, uh, kind of the whole end of the season. Every commentator that came in, they're like, this is incredible. I can't wait to to experience that again. We miss it last year for the next two years competing and then and then having a chance to uh, do it in the Big 12 too. Let's go. Let's talk about that. You've got six more shots against Gonzaga for the most part. And then you turn to Kansas and Baylor to defending national champion. As you think about this basketball league starting in 2023, what jumps off the chart? Well, it's 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 first, it's, it's beyond exciting. Like it is just out of this world exciting. And second, it's incredibly humbling, and we know we got a boatload of work to do. You put those two things together, and that's what everybody's looking for in life, and we're really blessed here with BYU basketball to have a shot at that. You and I talked uh, the other day, Mark, about how difficult it is to get teams to come in. Like, Kansas would never come in here and play us. There's no way. You could offer them a 5-1, and one and they wouldn't come in here and play BYU. But now they're coming every single year, and that includes Baylor and Oklahoma State and Cincinnati, yep. who's a really good program. Huggins from West Virginia yep. going to walk in here yep. every year. Yep. What, what's that going to be like, and what impact will that have on the program? Well, listen, I mean, it, it, it's 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 going to have – I'm so happy for our players, and I'm so happy for our fans that they all get to experience this. You know, Scott Drew called me this morning. He just won a national championship. He's sitting on a ring, and he's, he, he called me, and he said a couple things. He said, Mark, you guys are joining an incredibly special league, incredibly special basketball league. And he also said one of the great things about this league is um, that we, you know, we get in the league play and we will fight with everything we have. But as coaches, uh, we're in this together as a league, as fans, we support this league together. And so we have something really incredible to look forward to. We just have to take care of business in the WCC first. That's right. Hey, Coach, we talked about with football, now going into Texas, Oklahoma, be able to recruit athletes for football. How does this change your strategy recruiting-wise now that you're opening the conference to so many different states? Well, yeah, listen, we're just dumb enough to think we can recruit any player in the country right now, and we're trying. We're trying to recruit everybody, but it checks up a massive box now. Uh, for kids that might have been a little bit uh, just a, a little bit cautioned about going into the WCC. It's a great league, as we've talked over and over and over again about. But now, in terms of talking about this league, in terms of talking about who you're going to face every night, there's no player in the country that can go to any more competitive environment than the Big 12. There isn't one. And so that is a great sale, not just for recruiting, but also for the identity of this team. That's what we want. We want to shock the world. We want to chase the biggest games. And so to have that all laid out because of Tom Homo, on BYU and all this great work for us. It's incredible. Well, if you think about it, every kid you're recruiting right now is going to play in the Big 12 unless you pull a senior from the portal. Yeah, so the, you know, listen, the portal of the spring may be a little different because we, we're looking for older guys, but in terms of freshmen right now and every other player they're getting a chance to go there, they're going to get it to bring in a new era of Big 12 basketball and continue this rise of BYU basketball. It's, it's a really exciting time to be a Cougar. All right, now, 
where are you at with the current schedule? We're a few weeks away from playing on BYU TV, and we're still waiting on who we're, we're playing. We're trying to plan vacations and everything, Mark. On? Let's go, baby. Let's go. We actually, uh, you guys be mad. We actually had the schedule done like two months ago. We oh. just were holding <laughs> out. No. You guys. Literally, I kid you not. We just got the final copy to the presses last night. In fact, the final copy came on my desk, so we're going to try and announce Tuesday. It's okay. a big time I'm schedule. I'm calling you tomorrow, and you're telling me so I can, like, schedule some. Bring it. It's on. All right, now, let's shift our attention to this game. Tell us the keys tonight to a BYU victory. Well, I don't know anything about football, but I do no, know this. Yes, you do. Yes, I, you do, do. I do know this. I've heard Kalani, who has uh, done such an incredible job here in so many ways, talk about turnovers are a massive part of this game. Possession is a huge part of this game. Uh, I think over the last decade, we have not uh, been great in that category. Uh, I think this is a team that's prepared to do that. Uh, so controlling the ball is a massive deal. And then I'm going to tell you what it always comes down to in every single game, in every single sport, it comes down to energy and toughness every single time. And I'm telling you, watching these guys out here right now, they got a little swagger to them. It looks like we believe that we win. It looks like BYU football believes that we win. I cannot wait to kick this deal off. One of the great shots from the press conference on Friday, and we'll leave with this one, is uh, uh, you and Coach Sataki met up in the back of the press conference, and, and we had a, an eye on you as you walked in, and Kalani walked over, and we saw the biggest bear hug between two coaches in charge of the biggest programs on campus as you move on to the Big 12. Yeah, well, listen, I, I mean, you see it in his players and in the fans and, and me also. I have so much love and respect for Coach. Um, what he's done here has been incredible. The way he represents this university, the way he touches his players, the way they want to fight for him is inspiring. And I get a little tiny glimpse of the pressure that he's under every single day to kind of come live up to expectations that BYU fans have. And we both know, I mean, we both we know what an unfathomable opportunity this is that lays ahead of us, and we can't wait. Coach Mark Pope on his birthday and live with us. Enjoy the football game. Happy birthday to everybody! Have fun, Mark. Have fun. Let's go, boys. He is a man ready for the Big 12, and we will have uh, his schedule on Tuesday on BYU Sports Nation.